Let's take a look at what's out there at the moment. Now, in the last 30 seconds, there have been 72,000 purchases online. There were 300 hours of video uploaded onto YouTube. The amount of data that exists in the world today is just mind-boggling. And although this chart shows healthcare data at about 6%, that 6% is huge. Let me try and contextualize that for you. If you were to take all of the healthcare data that exists in the world today, and you were to put it on iPads, the volume of iPads you would need to capture that data would stretch from the floor to halfway to the moon. In other words, 120,000 miles of iPads. And healthcare data is growing at double the rate of other data. But here's the issue, and although I thought the presentation from Mark Gallagher yesterday was absolutely exceptional, and we should always, as an industry, look outside to innovation, what Mark really was talking about was, for me, panacea. Because you have perfectly structured data. Healthcare data is a nightmare. And we should know at IQVIA, because we've been in the data business since 1955, I can tell you when I lived in Belgium, we were trying to get access to information. You, in essence, have three countries in Belgium. You have Brussels, which is a country all on its own. You have Wallonia, which is a fantastic part of Belgium, and then you have Flanders. The healthcare systems in those three countries were totally different. The healthcare systems in England, compared with Scotland, compared with Wales, are very different. It's totally unstructured. So whilst I get hugely excited about the technical capabilities of our industry to do great things for patients, I do feel sometimes that we get a little bit ahead of ourselves. Because we should never underestimate the complexity of the data that we aspire to get, and we should never underestimate the privacy concerns as well. Because I still believe there is a debate to be had with patients, an open and frank public debate, about the value of data sharing versus the risk of privacy. The other point that I would like to convey is, for me, the future, and this is what our strategy at IQVIA is, is to build jigsaws of data. Genomics data is hugely powerful on its own. We can do so much with genomics data in terms of biomarkers, et cetera. But genomics in information linked with the stuff that you were talking about yesterday, Steve, in terms of wearables, in terms of electronic medical records, you can start to do some really powerful things, which I'll talk about in a second. So the message I want to convey from this chart is you're going to hear, quite rightly, a huge amount of positivity with regards to innovation over the next two days. But one should never underestimate the barriers to success 